back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will deploy our sample React application to Azure Static Web App. So let's get started. First of all, we will create our sample React app by typing npx create React app in the current directory and let's wait until my sample React application is created in this directory. It is the app is created let me clear the screen type ls as it can be seen that our node modules packet.json package log.json public directory readme file and the src folder has been created so what i will do i will now go to my azure console to create static web app go to the console just type static web app Click on static web app, create static web app, select your subscription, select your resource group and give it a name. I will just call react sample. Now you can select your hosting plan. I will go with the free one because I am just making this for the demo purpose you can select your standard one. The free one I guess it is charging $9 a month and the standard is I guess $17 a month. So now select your location, I will go with East Asia and for your source code I am going with other. Now click next for tags, next review and create and let's wait for the final validation to be passed. The final validation has been passed. Now click on create. Welcome back. My application has my static web app has been deployed. Now go to resources. Copy this URL and type it in the browser. Here it is. My Azure Static Web App is up and running and now it is waiting for my content to be served. Now before we move to our Azure CLI, what I want you to show that you just have to install AWS uh, Azure Static Web App CLI. Static Web Apps CLI by just typing this command. Now I'm just going with my terminal and my React App is created. What I'll type? I'll just type s w a in it and it will ask me to name your configuration i will just call it app sample you can name whatever you like so it can be seen that it detected the framework the output location is said that it would be built and if you type npm run build it will build your application and if, if you type npm start it will start your application on localhost 3000 so i'm going with yes my application has been configuration has been done SWA CLI dot config dot json file has been created now what if i just type SWA start uh, what it will do it will just start my application on localhost 3000 so if i go to my browser and just type localhost 3000 as it can be seen that my react application is up and running on my 3000 port go back to my terminal press ctrl c clear my screen what i will do i will just type SWA build just like npm run build to build my application so it is building my application and it will create an optimized build my application has been built clear the screen just type ls as it can be seen that the build folder is created now let's deploy your application to static web app what i will do i will just type SWA deploy and i will just provide deployment token from where you can get the deployment token go to your uh, azure console go to your app click on manage deployment token copy this deployment token go back to your terminal just paste here press enter what it will do it will uh, deploy my application to the preview 
environment. Welcome Let's back. Wait as and it can be seen there, is. my application has been de deployed on the preview environments. Go to your console, click on environments, and as it can be seen that my application is deployed on this environment. Click on browse. Here is my sample React app. Now, how you will deploy your application to the production environment slot? Go back to your terminal. I have the same command what I will just specify the environment and I will type this production press enter what it will do it will deploy my application to the production slot let's wait until the deployment is done here it is my application has been deployed to the production environment go back to your Azure console refresh this page and as it can be seen that it is deployed on this now just browse this and this is what my application is look like on azure static web app so this was it i showed you how you will deploy your application to azure static web app using sws cli